Welcome to Introduction to Securitization, brought to you by Kanja.com. Securitization is one of the most fundamental and complex concepts in the world of finance, but it's also very important to understand the basics, and that's the goal of this video. So let's take a trip to the land of Kanjolia, where our friend Kelly wants to buy a $100,000 house. Now, Kelly doesn't have $100,000, so she goes to Kanjo National Bank, KNB, to borrow the money. Kanjo National Bank looks at her credit, looks at her job history, and they say, okay, this is a good solid loan, and they lend her $80,000. In return, Kanjo National Bank receives the rights to the mortgage, um, which means that they will receive payments of the principal and interest over a number of months and years. Now, Kanjo National Bank, they've originated this mortgage, and now they want to sell the mortgage to some investors. Ideally, they'd like to sell this mortgage for more than the $80,000 they put out. This way they would make an immediate profit. This is actually um, one of the principal ways, one of the major ways that banks make money. But they have a problem. The problem is that the individual mortgage is very risky, or at least it appears very risky to investors. Why is this? It is because Kelly is a virtual unknown to the investors. They don't know anything about her. Um, she has a job, they could figure that out, and uh, maybe she has a pretty good credit rating, but that's really about it. They don't know that much about the house that she bought. They can't go and visit that house, and um, they, they don't really know too much about Kelly's history. So investing a lot of money in her individual mortgage is, is a pretty big, substantial bet on something they, they are relatively unknowledgeable about. So this is a concern. What is the solution? Well, the solution is that Kanjo National Bank has issued thousands of these mortgage loans all over Kanjoli, and they have the rights to all of these payments of principal and interest, right? So now they can pool all of these mortgage loans together into mortgage-backed securities. What is a mortgage-backed security exactly? Well, it's, it's actually not a very simple concept, but let's take a look at this diagram. The diagram shows that you have mortgage one, mortgage two, and mortgage three, and theoretically this could go to thousands, if not tens of thousands of mortgages, and they are all lumped together in what is called a mortgage pool. This mortgage pool is then divided up into small securities, basically cut up into little pieces and sold to investors. So why is this valuable? What is the, the value proposition of mortgage-backed securities? Well, the idea is that you want to accommodate different levels of risk for investors. So the mortgage pool is divided up into tranches. A tranche is basically just a, a group of, um, of securities that are more or less risky. So the low risk tranches will receive their interest payments first. So remember, the, uh, the principal and interest cash flows are coming in from all of the, the um, homeowners, all of the borrowers, and the low risk tranches will receive their payments first. And this means that they are lower risk and they have a low interest rate associated with them. The high risk tranches, on the other hand, will only be paid back once the low risk tranches are fully repaid. So if the low risk tranches are not paid back, the high risk tranches might, uh, investors might lose all of their money. So they are higher risk and as a result, they will pay a higher interest rate. So um, to determine which, which tranches are low risk and which tranches are high risk, each tranche is given a credit rating. And this credit rating, um, at least in the United States, is based on Moody's or S&P or, or Standard and Poor, or excuse me, uh, S&P is Standard and Poor's, Moody's or Fitch. Um, and these credit ratings will determine if the tranche that you're buying, the security that you're buying is low risk, medium risk, or high risk. And uh, so this, this provides some idea of what exactly it is you are buying. So what are the advantages and risks to this whole securitization process? Well, one of the major advantages is that it provides liquidity to the mortgage market. Remember, investors are now a lot more, or at least were, a lot more secure about buying into the mortgage market because this way they don't have to just buy a single mortgage, a single loan. Um, they can buy into the entire market. They can buy a small piece of tens of thousands of loans. So they get diversification. The other advantage is that this system provides different investment opportunities to people with various appetites for risk. Based on the different tranches, I can figure out what's most appropriate for me. Maybe if I'm, if I'm running a pension fund, I can buy a very low risk tranche because I'm dealing with 
individuals who are retired. But maybe if I'm running a high uh, a high risk hedge fund, I can invest in some of the higher tranche or higher risk tranches. So that's a good thing. I can figure out uh, what's appropriate for my risk level, and there's some level of information and transparency about that. But there are also risks associated with securitization. One of the major risks is that it adds complexity to the process. When you are buying a security that has tens of thousands of different variables, each each remember each loan is a separate input variable. Um, those securities can be pretty complex, and the result of this is that it makes the securities significantly harder to value properly. And that is one of the fundamental drivers behind the credit crisis of 2008 and 2009, was a lot of the subprime mortgages that were pooled together into these different tranches um, were given higher ratings than they should have. And I'll actually try to talk about that a little bit more in a future video. But I hope this video has helped you understand the basics of securitization and why it can be a double-edged sword. It's not a purely bad thing or a purely good thing. It does have some advantage and some risk, uh, just like most things in the world of finance. Thank you very much for watching, and for similar videos, please check out my website, www.canjo.com.